All right, today we're going to test out our bronze Amco nipples or whatever, the bronze nipples I got for the walker. And we're going to test them out to see if we can get rid of the cap jam. Now, the first thing I wanted to do, see if the camera is, is we got our animal load of uh, 55 grains behind a round ball just uh, grease over the cylinders. And this is going to prove whether or not the cap jam, uh, if there's a load, it's going to be this one. So what I'm going to do is try to push these on with the Ted Cash capper and see if that rotates. It rotates. So I'm going to call that sufficient and we'll go out and see if I have to double up and push down with something else. I was hoping that this would go on and just with the capper itself get enough yeah, let's see. Get enough pressure on there. And I guess the claim to fame for this particular nipple is the small hole in the base, a small flash hole. There we go. And the 55 grain charge. You're sure going to tell us when we're going to All right, when I get ready, we'll get out here and take a few shots. All right, the best way I figured to test these nipples out, see if it stops the calf jam, I'm going to shoot the full charge, 50 yards, uh, with the round ball, 55 grains. And this is a pretty powerful charge, about max. So we're going to see how the caps react with that. Okay, cap's flat, but it stayed on. Stayed on the nipple. That one kind of fragmented, but it's in the recess inside the cylinder. Alright, first one fell off. Second one's still in there. This one got tore up, but nothing's sticking on the hammer, nothing's falling back down in. Now, part of the cap just flew on my arm. The ones that are fired are cleaned off. There was nothing left for that one. All right. Cap is inside the recess. Nothing dragging, nothing jamming. Last one. Okay, as you can see, these caps are in there. Like if we fired another one, this stuff would flay out, but they, uh, they're staying in there. Nothing fell back down into the action. All right, so I'm going to go load this up, and we'll do the same thing again and see if I get the same results. And this is a full house load. Uh, so, so far, so good. Okay, what we've got so far. It went smoothly. The only thing I found is one of the caps got up underneath the nipple. 
inside the recess and I had to pry it out with a pocket knife. Other than that, the rest of them fell off. Nothing's been going down into the action. So now I'm just going to concentrate on shooting and we'll see if we can get through another cylinder without any jams. It's dragging a little. A little bit of drag. Caps are seeming to fall out a little bit. There's one that again stuck up underneath, but it could be just the lubrication creating the drag, not the caps. I don't see any of them wedged in there or anything. So this is doing as you advertise. It's, it's doing as it says. Okay, so yeah. No cap jams. All right, we'll go look at the target. I'll tape it up, and then we'll run a couple more cylinders of, uh, instead of the round ball, the Dragoon bullets. Okay, guys, this is at 50 yards. 50 yards I'm shooting at this giant target. I'd say it's a 12-inch target. I got three of them on there. We had two went low, one up over here, two of them on the edges, and the first three were I seen where I was shooting high. Uh, so that round ball loads pretty much right on. Now we're going to go tape this up and probably run with my dragoons and see what they do. They're going to shoot high, so I'm probably going to aim down here with the dragoons and see what happens. All right. All right, what I've noticed is as I go, it's more and more difficult to get the caps on, and you're going to have to seat them uh, as this gets used. But the cap jams and stuff flying in, and, and the gun being jammed to where uh, you have to disassemble it, man, that's gone. So now we're going to try a load with our Dragoon, Errors Gone Dragoon bullets and see what I get here. Alright, that actually that cap didn't even flail or splinter. That one did. Malfunction. Does not appear to be a cap or anything in there. Or anything. Yeah, another malfunction. Those chambers are fired. Some of these 
caps eh, are deformed like that one and some of them that's a fired cap right there that one so I got those two let me see if I can get these to go off my actions are getting gummed up I might take it apart and see if there's a chunk of cap or something somewhere It's binding up on me bad. So we're gonna have to take that apart and see what we got going on. All right. I don't know. I gotta take her apart. Let's go to the bench and see. All right, we're here on the bench. Let me see what we can find out. Following. Looks like a lot of following, but no caps. One of these fell out. And as you can see, the one is still on there. Didn't even split. So that'll have to be taken off with a pocket knife. But I don't believe, I can't tell if that fell into the axis, was it? I think it fell off the cylinder. I think it's gummed up our, we still got residue of the uh, oil on there. So let me clean this off, get it back together and see what we got. Okay, wiped out some of the following and build up for freewheeling again. I think some of it might be happening there. Crap from the barrel. But, not a cap. Not a cap. And there might be something down in that action. Gonna have to take that back. May have been a part that fell down in there. I won't know until I get home. Try doing that. Yeah, see that's that's a sign a hunk of cap dropped down in there. So it works and then all of a sudden it'll get tangled up around the stop. So must have been on one of the high-powered ones when the cap fractured and flew out. Actually, one of them did fly out. But with a lighter charge, it doesn't do that. They actually stay in there pretty good, and I'm not getting that uh, flailing back type of thing. Let me go see if I can run a couple more cylinders out of it. Well, as we're going along here, I'll tell you about the... Uh, Capping. You got to kind of get this at the lowest point. I was hoping that with these new nipples, 
I could use my little snail capper and just, you know, push these on, but that isn't quite happening. And I gotta fumble around. push these things on here so that's another thing about this and as they get fouled there's like a build up on them so the caps get more difficult I think that one that one went so a little bit more screwing around getting the caps on but all in all, the actual total lockup jams have gone. So, all right. Well, let's get some lead down range. Alright, so after a little cleanup, the action's freer, and like I said, there may be a fragment of the cap that fell down in there, not quite sure. But we're going to fire up the rest of these uh, Dragoon bullets and see how well we go here. Maybe it kept dragging on there. They're flattening out on the nipples, but they're not coming back into the action. That one fell off. But I'll show you exactly what they're doing so you can say it's doing its job yeah misfire This one. Some empty cylinders here. Build up crap or what? Okay. All right, let's see if we can look at what we got going on here. See that one there? Kind of. That one did split. But the walker also doesn't have that chamfer room for the caps to go. So part of this also, the difficulty is the inherent design of the walker creates these problems. All right, we got one more cylinder, and I think we'll call it a day. Then we'll go take a look at our target. Okay, uh, still freewheeling. What I did different this time to see if them weird little misfires is when I put each cap in there, I seated it. I put pressure behind it and seated each and every single one. So let's see if this eliminates uh, them misfires. No, 
expected that. But on the second strike they go off, so they're not getting seated down all the way, is what the problem is. Yeah, there's one there. It sure it fell off. But they they somewhat can't see if you can see it or not, but they somewhat flail out. And that. But these are so tight that as they get fouled. Uh, it's harder to get the caps down on there. Alright, well, let's go see what we did target-wise. Okay, got some in the black. You have to remember I was aiming down low and to the left, my point of aim. But as you see, pretty consistent. He's here and a bunch there, there, all up and through there, kind of high, probably my first ones. But, yeah, even though those sights and the gun shoots fairly high and a little bit to the right, um, you know, with some practice, you can, you can hit things with the walker. It's a very, very interesting gun. Uh, I like it. I have fun with it. So, we're going to get home. I'll disassemble the gun, see if there's a hunk of cap down in there. And then I'll do my conclusions on these uh, nipples that uh, we replaced.